Target acquired. What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your number one source for handheld gaming. With the official launch day for Diablo 4 in just a couple of days and with all of the excitement surrounding it, undoubtedly many of you will be wondering if it is possible to play Diablo on your Steam Decks. Now, if you are running Windows on the Steam Deck, then this is really quite simple. All you will need to do is download the game and play it like any other game. And it actually runs really, really good in Windows. However, I know that some of you will want to play this in SteamOS, so this video really is intended for those who want to be able to play Diablo 4 on the Steam Deck in SteamOS. And what I'm about to show you will also apply to other games as well on other launchers outside of Steam. Now before we dive in, if you guys enjoy this kind of content or find it helpful and would like to support the channel, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing as well so that you do not miss out on future content like this. We cover tips, tricks, and gameplay performance for the Steam Deck as well as other handhelds such as the Aya Neo and the soon to be released ROG Ally of course. You definitely do not want to miss out on any of it. Okay, so the first thing we will need to do is go into desktop mode on the Steam Deck and we are going to download and install the Battle.net launcher. Now there are a couple ways to do this, but I am going to share with you the quickest and easiest way to download and install not only the Battle.net launcher, but all other launchers as well. To do this, we are going to use an app called Non-Steam Launchers, which can be downloaded on GitHub. You can find the download link to Non-Steam Launchers in the description of this video. And this app is crucial because in the past, in order to play games on other launchers, we would use Heroic or would download each launcher individually. Then we would have to add the installer to Steam as a non-Steam game, run the installer in a Proton, and then point Steam to the actual launcher after installation. This app will automate the entire process for us with the click of a button. Once downloaded, we will move the app to our desktop and then click on it and choose continue. And here you can see all of the options we have available. We can download Epic Games, GOG, Uplay, Battle.net, and a bunch of others. Feel free to add any other launchers here that you may be interested in. For this video, we are just going to download Battle.net. By default, it will install the launchers to the internal SSD, but we do also have the option to install them to an SD card as well by selecting Move to SD Card. And if later on you decide you want to uninstall a launcher, you can easily do so by using the same app. So now we will install Battle.net, which will only take a few minutes. Once installation is complete, Steam will need to restart. When we head into Steam, we can see that Battle.net has been added to Steam as a non-Steam game. The app is also selected to force compatibility through Proton Experimental as well. Now that Battle.net is completely installed and set up, we will now launch the Battle.net launcher to download Diablo 4. First, you'll be prompted to enter your credentials. This step in the process can be a bit buggy as you may see the keyboard popping up repeatedly and you may encounter a bit of flickering. After we have entered our credentials, the launcher will pop up and we can now download Diablo 4. This can take a while depending on your internet connection We'll be right back once our download has completed. The next thing we'll do is click on the settings for the battle.net launcher and rename this to Diablo 4. Before heading over to gaming mode, as an optional step, I recommend downloading Decky Loader. For those who may be unfamiliar with Decky Loader, it is an add-on extension that can be found on GitHub and features a variety of plugins, two of which gives us the ability to add game artwork and even theme music to our game profiles in gaming mode. This allows our non-Steam games to blend in with our Steam games for a more consistent look and feel. To install Decky Loader, you will need to first set up a root password and a pseudo password for admin privileges. You can skip this part if you have already set up a password and a pseudo password in the past. If you have not set this up before, then here is how to do so. Since I already have a password and a pseudo password set up, what you will see here will differ slightly from what you will see on your own screen. To set up a root password, open up console and type P-A-S-S-W-D. Enter the password you have chosen and then enter it again to confirm. Since I already have a password set up, I am changing the password to a new password. We will do the exact same thing to set up a pseudo password, except we will type sudo sudo space passwd. First, you will enter your root password and press enter. Next, enter the password you have chosen for your sudo password and then enter it again to confirm. Next, we will download the Decky Loader app installer and then place it on our desktop. Now we can run the Decky Loader app installer. When prompted, enter the pseudo password you have chosen. Next, we're going to choose the release build. We can also choose the pre-release build, 
but we may encounter some bugs. So we are just going to go with the release build. Now that we have Decky Loader installed, let's head on over to gaming mode. So when you launch into gaming mode, it's basically going to look something like this. As you can see, it's missing the game artwork for Diablo 4 and it makes gaming mode look a bit inconsistent. To fix this, we are going to add a couple of plugins from Decky Loader. One plugin for artwork and another for theme music. We can access Decky Loader by pressing the three dot options menu and then clicking on the plug icon at the bottom. Next, we'll click on the box at the top and this will show us a list of all of the available plugins. Here is the plugin for theme music, which we can install. And here we will install the Steam Grid DB plugin, which is the plugin which provides us with our game artwork. Now that we have both of these installed, we can add some artwork to Diablo 4. With the game highlighted, right click with the mouse or press the three line options button at the top of your Steam Deck with the game selected and then select change artwork from the menu. Here we can select the capsule and then a wide capsule and a logo. There we are, we have our game artwork added we're good to go. Now, when launching the game, I did encounter an issue with the launcher not taking up the full screen. This is an issue I have only experienced with Battle.net. At first, I thought it might be an issue with the capture card, but this is how it actually looked on the Steam Deck screen as well. And because of this, I wasn't able to launch into the game because I couldn't see the play button that would normally appear in the bottom left of the screen. So to fix this, I first thought to force the game to use 1280 by 800 resolution, but this didn't help at all. What did help was forcing the game to use the 1920 by 1080 resolution. Only then was I able to get the launcher to take up the entire screen and launch into the game. Now running the game at 1080p with low settings without FSR will not yield great performance, but with FSR enabled and set to performance, we are able to achieve 60 FPS with slight dips here and there. If you want a more consistent frame rate, 40 FPS may be a better choice. The game still looks and runs really good and you'll enjoy longer battery battery life as well. So there it is guys, the easiest way to install any launcher on the Steam Deck in SteamOS using a single app, which will also set the launcher up for you and how to use this to play Diablo 4 on the Steam Deck in SteamOS. This doesn't automatically mean that every game from every launcher will work on the Steam Deck in SteamOS. For example, you will still need Windows to play games like Call of Duty because of the built-in anti-cheat, but this will work for most games that do not have an anti-cheat. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. It's a great way to support the channel. And also let us know what you guys think of Diablo 4 running on the Steam Deck down in the comments. Any questions or concerns, feel free to drop those down there as well. We'll be sure to respond as time permits. Until next time, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Target acquired.